Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. Uh, back to tell you about a fantastic success story and uh, this is pretty exciting because they've gone through sort of one process and they're working going through a, a second process of getting a you know very very much needed grant and I'm not going to tell you the numbers we'll let our next guest tell you the numbers. I'm joined by Alain Bazinet. He is the secretary for sledge hockey of Eastern Ontario. Welcome to the show Alain. Great to have you here. Let, let's first of all talk about the role of, of sledge hockey uh, of Eastern Ontario. Ontario and and the role it plays and why it's so important LA yeah no absolutely so sledge hockey of Eastern Ontario has been around for many many years um, uh, and and giving sports uh, an ability for people to play uh, para ice hockey or sledge hockey as we still call it in Ottawa uh, what has what the growth been like LA I think we've seen such a, a rise in popularity of course very popular sport at the Paralympics as well in your experience what kind of growth have you seen in the sport yeah, so we've definitely uh, had quite a bit of growth in, in the more recent years, a bit slowed down by uh, uh, the COVID, uh, uh, COVID impact because uh, our population is a little more at risk. But right. uh, we're definitely seeing people coming back and, and excited. Uh, the games just finished as well. So we had uh, four athletes uh, there uh, representing uh, Sledge Hockey of Eastern Ontario. So they just came back yesterday. So super exciting. Where does, it, where does the majority of your funding come from at the moment, Lai? Yeah, so definitely uh, our, our fees are, are quite high for our members uh, that play. Okay. Uh, the cost of, of ice time and everything is, is uh, significant. And so that's why an assist can be a big deal for you guys. Uh, I mentioned that, Grant. Tell us a little bit about the Kruger Big Assist. Big Assist is, is so exciting. So they're helping us uh, next year. We've won $10,000. Uh, for uh, to help our uh, youth uh, with fees, so definitely it's going to bring down uh, those uh, those costs for them. Hopefully, it'll bring back some of the members that haven't been able to afford it. Our, our community is quite impacted by uh, the uh, by COVID. So yeah, and now you have an opportunity to apply for a, a second assist. Tell us a, a, about that, and and perhaps what the criteria is exactly. Yeah, so this, uh, the second assist is a $50,000 grant. So okay. uh, that is, is really for equity, diversion, uh, and inclusiveness uh, for, uh, for us. So definitely for, uh, for Sledge Hockey Basin in Ontario. So we want to uh, be able to have more targeted programming towards uh, women. So having some specialty ice time, uh, growing and expanding our programs uh, across the region. We're very centered uh, around Ottawa. So having more opportunities for people to join and uh, having some specialty programs with our soldier on and and different members of our community as well how did you get involved in in sledge hockey yeah so i've been playing the sport since i was uh, 12 years old so nice uh, i've played at, at the competitive level uh on the on you know the national development team or our provincial teams and and now i really just want to give back to the community and and make sure that our kids and youth uh have have a place uh, you know that they can see someone uh, that they can connect to, someone with a similar disability, someone uh, that's just like them. Uh, so, Ally, let's talk a little bit. Like, so it's a great opportunity to raise awareness. As you, you and I spoke off camera, mm -hmm. I mean that's why interviews like this are so important. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the sport. So, for viewers out there who have never seen the sport itself, obviously you know they, they know it's uh, a lot like the game of, of hockey. But tell us a little bit about perhaps how the sport is is a little bit different. Yeah, so absolutely. So our sport is uh, is a little bit different. So uh, instead of using skates that are on your feet, uh, we actually sit in a uh, customized sled uh, that has two blades uh, underneath. Uh, so we balance ourselves uh, on that. So the blades, as you uh, get more competitive, can be as, as narrow as a quarter inch. Uh, and then we uh, have two sticks uh, that we play with. So we have a right stick and a left stick, so a little bit different. Uh, and at the end of our sticks, we have some picks uh, that can be... Uh, uh, used to propel ourselves, so we kind of uh, multitask. So you propel yourself, and then uh, you hit the puck with the same stick as well. So, uh, as as far as uh, other rules go, are they the the same across the board with you know icing and and body checking and penalties and that kind? Because I think yeah. a lot of people don't realize how physical the sport is. Maybe you could tell us a little <laughs> bit because I've watched sled hockey. Yeah. It is a physical sport. Oh, absolutely. So, so definitely at, at our higher levels, our, our young and youth program is uh, non-contact, but right. as we move along uh, in there, so it's, it's quite physical. So I think uh, if you're able to catch some of the games that just finished on Sportsnet, um, 
uh, last week. Uh, you know, the the Canada U.S. rivalry is quite uh, yeah uh, quite intense. So definitely, uh, the the penalties and everything's are pretty similar. There is some uh, more specific ones like picking. Uh, so if you actually use the butt end of your stick, uh, which is laser cut sharp, uh, definitely that's uh, that's a specialty penalty. And then also if you hit someone straight uh, on, we call it a teeing penalty. Okay. Uh, so that's where the differences are. But no, definitely very uh, very nice uh, physical contact. Uh, you know, fun uh, fun to play for sure. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Alain, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, we're all behind you here in Ontario, Eastern Ontario, of course, here in Ottawa. Uh, good luck with that second assist. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Don't go anywhere. Uh, much more coming up here on Daytime Ottawa. And, of course, you're watching it right here on Rogers TV.